So here's another synthesis problem that we've been asked to solve. In this synthesis, we're converting an alkene to an alcohol. So let's start by walking backward. How can we make an alcohol? The easier way to think about this would be, what reagent can I attach to an alkene that will add hydroxy group to the less substituted carbon? So I want the OH group to go to this less substituted carbon and hydrogen to go to this more substituted carbon. So this is the way I would think about this problem. From this point on, in order for OH to be added to the less substituted carbon, we have to use a reagent that will do anti Markovnikov addition of hydrogen and OH. And that reagent will be borane, sodium hydroxide, and hydrogen peroxide. So the next question then becomes how can I make this alkene? And already I know that alkenes are products of elimination reaction. So I will have to do an E2 reaction. And to do elimination reaction, I will have to react an alkyl halide with a strong base. And the strong base must be able to add the double bond to the more substituted carbon. So in this case, I cannot use a bulky base because a bulky base will place the double bond between, um, it's going to place the double bond here. So I will have to use a regular base such as sodium ethoxide. I could also use sodium hydroxide. Now, this base will convert this alkyl halide to, to this alkene. So the next question then becomes, how can I make this particular alkyl halide? So if this is our starting material, notice that the, the bromine here is, is attached to this carbon. I can think of a, rea a reagent that will add hydrogen to the less substituted carbon and bromine to the more substituted carbon. So here, I will have to do, I will have to use a reagent that can do Markovnikov addition and add H and Br across the double bond. So pure HBr is what we need to convert this particular alkene to this alkyl halide. And this will be the solution to this synthesis problem. So let's call this route one. So let's look at another strategy that we could use. The strategy could be that I may have to convert this to alkane and convert the alkane to an alkyl halide using radical bromination. And then from there, I can complete this synthesis. So let's try that. If I react this with hydrogen and a metal catalyst, say palladium, that's going to convert the alkane to this alkane. And from here, I can make the alkyl halide by reacting the alkane with bromine and light. So through radical bromination, I'll form this product, which will be the major product. Now, I will need to make the alkane. And to do that, I will need to react the alkyl halide with a, with a base. So this will go through E2 mechanism, which will form my alkane. I could decide to, to use the same strategy I used up here, or I can try something different. And I want to convert this alkane to alkyl halide. And from the alkyl halide, I can do SM1 reaction to form the alcohol. So, so the question then becomes, what reagent can I use to add bromine to the less substituted carbon and hydrogen to the more substituted carbon? So this is anti-Markovnikov addition of hydrogen and bromine. So the reagent that will make this happen will be HBr, and I can use this radical initiator. And of course, this reaction will occur under light or heat. That particular reaction will add bromine to the less substituted carbon. And from here, I can convert this 
bromine to alcohol. And to do that, I will need to perform an SM1 reaction. So I'm thinking of a reagent that will replace the bromine with OH. So water comes to mind. So if I do this reaction, um, this, this will go through SM1 mechanism. And I know that SM1 and E1 always go together. And that's the challenge with this problem. So because if you're forming the SM1 product, we will also form an E1 product alongside it. So my product here is going to be this alcohol. So I will have this alcohol as well as the E1 product. So here is the product we're trying to make. But this one right here is also a product that, it, that is made alongside the SN1 product. So I'll find a way to convert that to the SN1 product. And what I would do would be to ask myself the question, what reagent can I add such, in such a way that OH will be added to this carbon and hydrogen will be added to this carbon? So here we're attaching the OH to the less substituted carbon of the alkane. Now the reagent to make that happen is BH3 sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide. And this is an anti-Markovnikov addition of hydrogen and OH group across the alkane 